Today we're taking a look at my Belova Precisionist watch. Um, the first thing you'll notice is the super smooth sweep of the second hand, despite this being actually a quartz watch. Uh, you might actually even confuse it with the smooth sweep of a uh, Grand Seiko spring drive. But the, uh, the quartz itself runs at what it says here, 262 kilohertz, which is eight times faster than a regular quartz watch, which vibrates at about 32,000 hertz, um, which means this watch is accurate to about 10 seconds a year. And uh, that compared to a normal quartz watch is about 15 seconds per month, or mechanical watches that are a few seconds um, a day. And the second hand here looks super smooth. It is because it moves at 16 times per second against this um, actually really nice looking blue dial. And uh, 16 vibrations a second, which is twice as fast as a mechanical watch, which is usually six to eight beats per second. And as you can see, like I said, visually, it is very, very close to a Grand Seiko spring drive. Um, and if you notice, the second hand tail also has a infinity symbol. Um, and also it is here on the case back, precisionist infinity symbol, Belova, uh, on the back as well, kind of to remind you how smooth the second hand is and honestly you can kind of look at it all day especially against this very nice blue uh, blue dial as well um, I would say the smooth sweep is worth the price of the watch alone and and given that the most affordable Grand Seiko is 20 times the price of this watch um, it might be worth it and I'll do a couple of slow motion videos of the second hand and compare that to um, a few different mechanical watches and what that looks like. A quartz watch, of course, um, beats at one per second in terms of the um, second hand movement. And um, this is not the most affordable precisionist. The one that's the most affordable is a one with a spiral gray dial. Uh, that sometimes you can see on Amazon for about $175 uh, or so. Um, this blue dial actually has slightly different hands. You can see the hollowed um, hour and minute hands is a little bit over right around $200. And the model number for this blue one is, you can see here, 96B257. And the watch itself is... 51 millimeters tall or about two inches and it is 46 millimeters wide including the crown here um, and it is 10 and a half millimeters thick which is about 0 0.4 0 0.4 inches and you can see how this compares to a Casio 91F it's definitely bigger and quite a bit thicker as well. And this is how it compares to a US quarter, how it sits on the face of it as well. And the watch is stainless steel and you can see some of my fingerprints have already gotten onto it since it is polished. And um, that way it does weigh in at 74 grams or approximately 2.6 ounces. And it is water resistant, as it says in the back here, uh, 100 meters, water resistant to 100 meters. Um, the case is polished, shiny, and I would say well made for the price. Um, and the leather strap here, you can see it says Belova on it. It is thick and it does take a little bit of, you know, a couple weeks of wearing to get it to be as soft as you want it. And when you pull out the crown to adjust the time, the second hand does stop like a mechanical watch. And I would say overall, a very clean looking watch with a lot going on for it at a very approachable price. They're fancier precisionist models with um, chronographs, but I would say they're a, quite a bit bigger. And also the dial actually gets a little bit more cluttered, which means that the super smooth second hand 
is um is hard to see and it also happens to be i would say the best feature of this watch and and in the more complicated models or models with more complications it isn't so much front and center so if you want the most accurate watch without going to a atomic clock radio controlled watch then like a casio multi-band six model uh, this is the watch to get and if you want the smoothest secondhand sweep without having to spend um, thousands of dollars for a Grand Seiko, this is the watch to get. So lots going on for the watch and definitely um, something, a watch that you should consider if um, accuracy and also a smooth sweep is something that you're looking for.